button. There we go. All right, you guys, welcome, welcome to our clinical solutions event. You guys are in for a real treat today with uh, Pink Cadillac Senior Sales Director, Kendry Burkett. You guys, um, she has been number one in sales in our national area since we've been a national area, even before we were a national area. And it's been due to her passion um, around the products and her knowledge, knowledge and her expertise and just um, diving in and making sure that she really truly understands the ingredients, the results to be expected, everything. Um, and she has gone literally above and beyond when it comes to learning this clinical solutions line. And so without further ado, I know you guys are as excited as I am to hear from the Kendry Burkett. So take it away, Kendry. Hey guys, hello. I am excited to be with you today. And so um, we are going to just dive on in. I have lots of good like accessible information for you that hopefully will help you to feel like you know what's best for your skin. If you're a consultant, what's going to help your customers the most. I'm going to give you the basics and just some things you can kind of hang your hat on so that you feel knowledgeable. And um, one of my superpowers is taking a lot of information and condensing it down into bite-sized accessible things for you to use. So I'm going to hopefully be able to help you with that today. We are going to be talking about clinical solutions which is our Derma Cosmetics line. And what does that even mean? Derma Cosmetics is kind of the intersection of dermatology, like skin health and cosmetics. So um, this is what you would find like at a med spa or at a dermatologist's office. This does not replace your basic skincare. So let me be really, really clear. What we are talking about today is leveling up your skincare. This does not replace cleanser, moisturizer, eye cream, um, serums even, okay? This is going to be the next level in skincare. If you really care about having the best skin ever, you are going to want to start with your basics and then add in whatever boosters or clinical solution items are going to be the best for your particular skincare issues. Okay. So I wanted to just make sure we started with that. If you are not currently using a Mary Kay skincare set, start there and talk to your consultant about that. Now we have 10 lines of skincare. So you can mix and match between any of our skincare lines to get a customized result. And that is why you have a consultant who consults with you on getting you the best, um, you know, blend of products, but you're not going to want to mix and match with other skincare brands. And that's true across the board, whether it's a Mary Kay brand or some other brand, when you mix and match between brands, you're not getting the best bang for your buck because those products are not tested together and they are designed to build on each other. Every brand does that. Now we believe Mary Kay is the best brand out there. We will you know, say that over and over again. We believe that we believe that when you wash your face with Mary Kay, you are going to get the best products, the most safe products, the most affordable products, and you get an amazing consultant. All right, well, let's dive into the actual topic of our class today, our workshop. And I love to learn. I don't feel like you have to know every single ingredient or tell everybody every single ingredient. So consultants, hear me really clearly. I want to give you some basics that you can share with your customers. And if you are a customer watching, that you can just really understand, like, what is this going to do for you? Is this right for me? That kind of thing. Um, and that's where we're going to land. So I'm going to start out with our, um, the first product that launched in our clinical solution set, and that is our retinol 0.5 set. This is for most everybody. And it is the one that takes a little bit more um, time to introduce to your skin. And it takes a little bit more explanation on how to use it, but it gives you the most broad benefits. The only people that cannot use the retinol 0.5, which by the way, is the highest concentration you can get without a prescription, um, you're not going to want to use this if you're pregnant or nursing or if you're using acne products, okay? So those are really the people that want to stay away from all 0.5, and I do have a substitute for you if you are one of those people. Also, there are a few people whose skin just simply can't tolerate retinol. So those people are very few and far between, but that does happen too. My sister can't use it, and I'm very sad because she really wanted to use it, and um, she just can't. It, her skin can't tolerate it. Here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It comes in this beautiful box and it comes with a tracker. So it's going to come with all the information actually in your package. 
And ours is really unique in that we have what's called the retinization process. The retinization process is an eight week process of introducing your skin to retinol because it is a very powerful ingredient. So you are going to the first few weeks, you're only going to use it once a week. I'm not going to go through all the eight weeks with you because it's in there for you and your consultant can help you. But, um, one of the things that's unique to ours is this calming facial milk, this guy right here. This is unique to Mary Kay, and it really helps to adjust your skin to the product. So why do you want to use retinol? Well, you might want to use retinol if you want to prevent or reverse the visible signs of aging. Anybody? Prevent or reverse <laughs> the visible signs of aging? Yes, please. This is the most multi-benefit product that I'm going to talk about today. It is going to stimulate skin surface skin cell renewal. So basically as we age, our cell turnover slows down. This speeds it back up. Can I get an amen? Like let's speed that back up. So what that means is it's also going to um, uh, help to help your skin to produce more collagen and elastin. Um, collagen is kind of the building blocks of our skin and elastin is what makes it stretchy, gives it that bounce back ability, kind of like elastic. That's how you remember that. So your skin is going to be smoother, brighter, firmer. You might want to write down those as bullet points, smoother, brighter, firmer. <laughs> we all want all of those things, right? Um, it also is going to be good for somebody who is struggling with acne because, um, you know, that's another process that happens that is going to, um, kind of help you with that, that situation. So prevent and reverse the visible signs of aging and help with acne. I mean, it's kind of two ends of the spectrum almost with, with time probably for most of us, although some of us got, um, breakouts and wrinkles at the same time. And that was me. Um, I had great skin as a teenager. And then when I hit my mid thirties, I was like, Oh, well, what is this? I feel like I've not had this before. So, so interesting. Um, I'm no longer in my thirties and also, um, no longer having breakouts. So that's a win for me. When you are doing the retinizing process, retinization process, that's that eight weeks of introducing your skin to retinol. And, you know, literally what happens when you just dive right in for most people is you might experience some flakiness, redness, or um, dryness. Okay. And the, the facial milk helps, helps with that. But while you're doing the retinization process, you're going to kind of discontinue your extras. You're still going to use your cleanser and your moisturizer and your eye cream. You're not going to use your exfoliating products. So you wouldn't use microdermabrasion. You wouldn't use your skin vigorate brush. You're not going to use the facial peel. Um, I think, you know, really any of those products because you just want to allow your skin its best chance to absorb it and get used to it. Now, I want to give a caveat. Some people have already been using retinol. And so they may not need the retinization process. This is for people who are new to retinol. Also, everybody's skin is different. That means that some people are going to need longer than eight weeks, and some people aren't going to need the full eight weeks to adjust to the, to the product. So just know that um, it might be a little bit individual, but it's best to kind of be better safe than sorry, so that your skin is not experiencing the dryness, redness, and flakiness that could happen, just the skin irritation that could happen if you introduce it too much, too fast, okay? And this is not going to be an everyday product any, any time, okay? This is not a daily use product. Um, I will take some questions at the end if we have them, but um, I'm going to go ahead and move on from retinol. We will talk a little bit about how you use other products with retinol as we get um, moving forward, but I'm going to go ahead and go to boosters next. And what is a booster? What the heck is a booster? <laughs> um, it's, it has nothing to do with um, any injection. Okay. This is <laughs> a skincare booster. Basically boosters supercharge your skincare. They are targeted um, solution specific products. So they are very specific. Mostly serums are going to be a multi-benefit uh, kind of a product. So your lifting serum, your um, vitamin C and E replenishing serum, those are going to target um, a multitude of things. These are very, very specific and help to really like hone in on certain issues with our skin. Okay. So let's start with the everything, every time, all the things booster. Okay. This is the one you can use basically whenever you want. <laughs> um, and everyone should be using it. It is called HA Ceramide Booster. So when you see the names on these, the first um, part of the name is like the superpower ingredient. And the second part of the name is the supporting ingredient. So HA plus ceramide 
HA stands for hyaluronic acid. Let's say that all together, hyaluronic acid. <laughs> um, it binds more than 1,000 times its weight in water. What hyaluronic acid does is it retains moisture in the skin cells. So it helps your moisturizer, your hydrating products to work better. Remember, this is a booster. It's supercharging what your skincare is doing and helping it to work more effectively. So this is a twice a day product. It can be used during the retinization process. So like I said, use it all the time, anytime with anything else, morning and evening, every day. It's an all the time product. And you don't have to worry about it interacting with any of the other things in a way that would irritate your skin. Dry skin people, normal skin people, oily skin people, everybody needs hydration. And even year round, hydrated skin is happy skin. We often say that. So this has two forms of hyaluronic acid in it. Um, and then the ceramide ingredient also kind of helps to support the skin barrier. So again, it's just a supporting ingredient. All right, let's move on. I did not pull out all the boosters because they basically all look like this. <laughs> okay, so this is the HA ceramide right here, but um, they are in different colors. So when you have them on your shelf, the HA ceramide is blue. Just think about water, you know, pretty easy. The line reducer. This is the vitamin C plus resveratrol line reducer. Okay. So this guy, again, the first ingredient is the powerhouse ingredient. The second ingredient, you know, in the name is going to give you the, the supporting ingredient. This can be used two times a day. You're not going to use this during the retinization process if you're using retinol. And when you are through the retinization process and you are using it together, use it on in the morning and on alternate nights from your retinol. So if you're using retinol at night, don't use your line reducer the same night, okay? But you could use it in the morning of the days that you're using retinol. Hopefully that's clear. This is gonna protect um, against the free radicals that are going to damage your skin and cause more lines and wrinkles. And it is another one that supports collagen and elastin production. So vitamin C is a really powerful antioxidant. Resveratrol is the good stuff in red wine. Um, we do have encapsulated resveratrol in our 3D miracle set as well. And when you hear encapsulated, I'll, I'm going to come back to that with encapsulated retinol too. Encapsulated resveratrol is going to be a gentler form of resveratrol, this is gonna be a more concentrated form of resveratrol. And those are going to be antioxidants. Antioxidants counteract free radicals on your skin and free radicals are unavoidable. They happen from breathing. They happen from you know pollutants in the air. There's nothing you can do about free radicals except counteract them. So antioxidants, it prevents oxidation and oxidation is what causes rust, if you think of that. Now our face obviously is not going to rust, but it does experience damage just like iron rusts, okay? Encapsulated retinol, let me touch on that really quick. That is in our repair line, our volume firm repair line. Again, doesn't require a retinization process because it's more of a time release, it's more gentle, lower concentration. Effective, yes. Um, as you know, strong as 0 0.5 retinol, no. You can use the night cream that has the retinol, encapsulated retinol in it during the retinization process though, okay? I know I'm kind of jumping around a little bit, but I forgot to talk about that when I was saying retinol. That is the line reducer. So you can use it two times a day, not on the nights that you're using retinol, and it specifically targets fine lines and wrinkles, okay? You can use it with the HA ceramide, because remember, that one you can use with anything all the time. When you use them together, the HA ceramide goes first and the line reducer goes second, okay? The, the order of application on those is not set in stone. If you do it the other way around, it's not really gonna hurt your skin or be a big deal. Sometimes you just want the structure though. Also, don't mix them together, okay? Don't mix your boosters together. Don't mix them with your serum. Don't mix them with your moisturizer. They need to be on their own absorbing into your skin. We're gonna move on to the two newest boosters that just launched, just launching this month. And um, so these are the ferulic acid plus niacinamide brightener and the PHA AHA resurfacer. Okay, so let's um, dive into those real quick. The ferulic acid um, brightener, ferulic acid plus niacinamide brightener 
is the one I'm the most excited about because I have quite a bit of sun damage. I grew up in California. I lived overseas in Africa for a while. So I have a lot of accumulated sun damage and it tends to just, you know, come to the surface over time. <laughs> That's, we call it kind of like clusters of crispy cells that um, make it make their way to the surface over time. So I'm excited about this one. This guy is um, two times a day. Also not during the retinization process, but you can use it morning and evening once you've gone through the retinization process. The ferulic acid prevents free radical formation on the skin and reduces discoloration. So it kind of interrupts that process. Niacinamide is a form of uh, B vitamin, it's B3, and it is another antioxidant that reduces uneven skin tone and brightens. And then finally, um, there are just some powerhouse ingredients put together. When they work together, they are going to um, really give you even more bang for your buck. A fun fact about the ferulic acid brightener. Now, everybody's sense of smell is different, but I have confirmed this with not just me. And that is, I think it smells like a campfire. It's kind of funny. Um, it smells kind of like wood smoke. Now, it's not overpowering. Once you put it on, you don't continue to smell it. Um, but I personally kind of like that scent. I think it's kind of fun. So um, anyway, if you smell that and you're like, oh, well, that's different. It is actually the ingredient. The ferulic acid has that smell. And you'll, you know, it doesn't matter if it's a Mary Kay one or some, something else has ferulic acid in it. Um, that's just kind of the scent of the, of the ingredient. Okay, the last one is the PHA AHA resurfacer. This one requires just a tiny bit more explanation than the others. Um, and I know we're going through these quickly, so I'll pause here in just a moment and see if there are any questions that I need to cover. PHA is, um, these are hydroxy acids. Okay, so polyhydroxy acid and alpha hydroxy acid. Polyhydroxy acid, the PHA improves skin texture and radiance. And what it does is it breaks apart the bonds between the dead skin cells on the surface of your skin to accelerate exfoliation on the surface level. Okay, so it's breaking apart the bonds so they can slough off more easily. The AHA is going to accelerate exfoliation on the deeper layers of your skin. So it's going to work on the upper layer and a couple layers deep. This is a leave on product. So um, it is different. This is where we, we need a little bit of explanation because we do have um, another product that has AHA in it. And that is our Revealing Radiance Facial Peel. So the Revealing Radiance Facial Peel is a um, leave it on for 10 minutes and then take it off kind of product so it doesn't stay on your skin. And it's a higher concentration of AHA. It's actually glycolic acid. That is an alpha hydroxy acid, if you're wondering. So the difference is going to be the Volufirm Repair Revealing Radiance Facial Peel has a higher concentration of AHA ingredients in it. The um, resurfacer is going to have a lower concentration and it's gonna just be very specific. So this is great for our customers who might fall into the, I can't use retinol scenario. They're pregnant, they're nursing, they're using, um, they're using acne products um, or their skin can't tolerate retinol. This is a great product for them. Um, it also does have glycerin in it, which helps to boost moisture levels so you don't get that dryness from it. And this is one product that will increase sun sensitivity. So you only would use it at night. You also cannot use it when you're if you're using retinol. So if you are a retinol person, you wouldn't use the resurfacer. Basically, for one reason, for one thing, you don't need it. The retinol is already going to resurface your skin. That's the smoother part when I was talking about smoother, brighter, firmer. Um, that's the smoothness, okay? Also, um, you don't use this product every day. It is a two or three times a week at night product. So just to recap, the HA hydrator, all the time with anything. Vitamin C plus resveratrol line reducer, two times a day after your skin is retinized if you're using retinol, not on the nights that you're using retinol. Same thing with ferulic acid, um, the ferulic acid niacinamide brightener two times a day, not when you're retinizing. When you are using retinol, not on that night. Resurfacer, not with retinol at all. 
Now I'm going to give you another caveat here. You might be somebody who can tolerate using both of them, but we'd want to err on the side of caution. And the company is always going to be pretty conservative in their recommendations. And so um, just, you know, be careful about it, but don't be afraid. The company also recommends that we not use um, multiple boosters except for the HA um, hydrator. Okay. So the HA hydrator with all the things, have I said that enough times? Um, you can use it with any of the other boosters and with retinol. If you're using the line reducer, don't use the ferulic acid brightener. That is what the company recommends, even morning versus evening or things like that. Now, I will say that some people have talked about using um, like the, the line reducer on their forehead and their neck and the brightener on their cheeks. Could you do that? Probably. Um, is it, you know, is your face going to fall off? Probably not. The products do travel. And so basically what the company is saying is if they're interacting with one another, like they're coming into contact with one another, the resurfacer, the skin brightener, and the line reducer, you could experience how, uh, you could experience some skin irritation, basically. So if that happens, just don't do that anymore, basically is, <laughs> is the answer to that. Um, let me wrap up here and then I'll take a couple of questions because we're right at 20 minutes and I don't want to keep you too much longer. Um, order of application with your regular skincare. So um, if you're going to obviously wash your face first. <laughs> Please wash your face before you do any of these products. <laughs> very important step, very important for hygiene. Then you're going to use whatever booster. And I think I said this the wrong way at the beginning. Um, you'll use whatever booster, one booster that you're choosing. Then you use your HA, um, HA hydrator after that. I think I said it the other way before. Then you use your serum. If you're using lifting serum or the replenishing serum, you would use that. And then your moisturizer. If you are doing um, retinol on the nights that you're using retinol, you do your HA um, hydrator first, then retinol, then your serum, then your moisturizer. Okay. All right, I think I have covered everything that I had. Last thing, consultants. There is a clinical solutions confident um, module on InTouch. So if you are a consultant, I would really recommend going through that. It has tons of scenarios. It has tons of um, just basic information. And then there's also in Product Central, another section that's just on boosters. And it talks about everything that I have taught taught you today, <laughs> but I would go through the clinical solutions confident module. Jill, what else do you have? Okay. Awesome stuff, right? You guys awesome stuff. Okay. So can you share prices with everyone? Oh, good question. Thank you for asking that. So the retinol set is 120 and the boosters, are you ready for this? $38. You guys, when I saw the price point, when these came out, I was like, well, that can't be right. Is that the consultant cost? <laughs> So um, as a reminder, if you're a customer watching this, uh, as consultants, we pay half price. So for us, retinol costs $60. The set costs $60 and the boosters cost $19. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The company is so smart. Our price point is ridiculously low. So true. And so this is a perfect opportunity also to say that, you know, you can become a, um, even a personal use consultant. If you're like, well, I'm using all Mary Kay skincare, I'm using all Mary Kay makeup, whatever, like this just makes sense. It probably does. Okay. Um, Kendry, this is so informative, so helpful. What would you say to somebody who says, but, um, I want all the benefits from all the boosters. Like, what would you recommend? I would recommend retinol. I mean, that's the one that's going to give you the most across the board benefit uh, in all of these areas. And then the HA ceramide hydrator. <laughs> I mean, all the time, all the things every day with your retinol. And so were some of you guys, um, especially if you're an oily person, that would be me, maybe even like surprised to hear her say, that one is for all skin types, even if you're oily. I bet, you know, a lot of people are very surprised to hear that. And that was like the first one that when people were using that, we knew 
right away. Oh my gosh, yeah. you're using one of the new boosters because it just makes such a difference. I love how you said hydrated skin is happy skin. So, um, so much wisdom here. So step, we recommend step number one is retinol. Um, we also want to remind you that all of our products are hundred percent guaranteed. So if you are like, I'm going to, I'm just going to give it a whirl and see how this works. Um, then you absolutely can purchase with confidence. You could literally use the entire thing. And if it doesn't do what you expected it to do, what you wanted it to do, then you can trade it out for another product. That is our guarantee is just phenomenal. So um, if somebody said, Kendry, um, okay, fine. <laughs> I will start with the retinol. But I also want, um, I, I mean, like I, I want, I want to add a brightener. Would that be okay? Absolutely. Once you've gone through the retinization process, your skin is, you know, adjusted to retinol, then absolutely throw the brightener in there and just don't use it on the nights that you put your retinol on. Use it in the morning, use it on alternate nights. Absolutely. So, so good. This has been so helpful. So uh, informative. Um, use up right. That's a great question. Yeah, um, it depends on the item, of course, but because um, like the resurfacer, you're only using two or three times a week, so it's going to last you longer. But with the um, the regular daily use ones, they're saying one month um, use up rate. I'm finding they last a little bit longer than that, but that is the company, you know, suggested use up rate. I only use four drops for my skin and I don't have like, I think I have an average size face. Um, I use <laughs> my neck as well. And um, it says on the packaging six to eight drops, but you know, you may vary on how much you need. I only need four. So that's probably about, why I last a little longer. <laughs> what about your decollete area? So I hope you guys heard her say she's doing everything face and neck. Obviously your neck is exposed just like your face is. So everything you're doing to your face, you want to do to your neck. Um, how do you feel about using these on your decollete area? I say hairline to bra line. Um, the difference with that might be retinol. Some people cannot tolerate it on their neck. Sometimes, sometimes people have more sensitive skin there. Um, if this is pretty thin skin, I use it on my neck and with no problems, but some people can't. So just kind of test it out. Awesome. And I hope you all heard her say everybody's skin is different. And so it is very possible that you could start off with the retinol and um, you have no problems at all. You can add things in, but it's also very possible that you might have a sensitivity to it. And so um, that is why uh, our retinol is just amazing with the retinization process with that calming milk that goes through. Nobody else has that step with their retinol. So thank you, Mary Kay, for that. Kendry, this has been helpful, informative, phenomenal. Love that. That's a uh, one more great question from Katrina. Um, is there a target age group? Yeah, great questions, you guys. So essentially, this is targeting specific problems and solutions. It's giving you solutions to certain problems. So if you're experiencing that problem, this is for you. <laughs> Um, so not necessarily like probably your 20 year olds are not going to need the line reducer, but, um, if they want to use it, they certainly can. Everybody is going to use the hydrator. Uh, even, you know, your early, early twenties, I would recommend, especially if they've got dry skin, but really anybody. And then typically when you start to see the signs of aging, you're probably going to be closer to 40 than you are to 20, but everybody's a little bit different on that. So if you see the sign of aging that you want to target, absolutely throw it in there. Love it. Great question. Great answer. So informative, so helpful. Thank you, Kendry, for all of your research um, that you've done on this. This is wonderful, wonderful. Can you use any of these in the eye area? Absolutely not. Avoid your eyes. Good. That's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the only thing you want to use around your eyes are the products that are made, ophthalmologist tested, and everything for the eye area, which would be any of our eye creams. So, yep. Great question. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Kendry, so much for all of your expertise. You guys have fun learning about these, have fun trying them out and so that you can give your own testimony. We appreciate you guys. Take care.